Javel McGee. Let's see if he flips and respond. Jackson back the other way. No, but it means that Zubac shoves it in. They marked that jumper, by the way. To Reggie Jackson in the corner. Speaking of Reggie right here, the early offense dribble penetrate. Where the ball moves maybe, and then sometimes he can make a good point pass. Reggie coming on a foul as he collides with Crowder and sent that young man to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. Wayne Wright misses on the three. He's 0 for 5 coming into tonight of the season. Winslow a bit out of control. Oh, able to lay it in, and the Clippers lead by 11, 32 to 21. Justice Winslow right here. Cam Johnson is back. And that's the best time you attack your defense. And Clippers early on, has done a, they've done a great job of kind of taking that away. But that time, this ball won the battle. And speaking of which, outstanding little screen. Morris picked up by Paul. Hartenstein posting on Johnson. Kennard. What a pass! Oh, what a pass and a play by Hartenstein. Gets it. Now he's able to get back door once again. Jackson into the teeth of a zone, swings it over to Morris. Oh, oh, oh. How about this? Marcus Morris Sr. is four for five. He has ten. That might change in the second half, but worth pointing out. Morris gives to man, finds a seam, goes back to Zoo, shuffles his feet, but no call, then punches it in with a left hand. Clips on this play. Terrence Mann draws JaVale McGee there. And when you do that to McGee, as good of a defensive player and shot blocker that he is. Because Suns have the rebound. Landry Shamit from the wing to the lane. Denied by Zoo! Seem to get into any kind of offensive rhythm. Zoo right here, just like, again, position. 60-45. This is the largest lead for the Clippers so far tonight. Morris picked up by Bridges. Contested 15-footer. I don't think it matters who's guarding Marcus Morris. The Clippers have been out their best this year when they have played a focused game. How about the defense by Avita Zubats, Mr. Jackson? And reward him. Reward him. There you go. Look out below the punch from Zoo. It's a different skill set for the Clippers, but I would be much happier operating with a double-digit lead, Terrence Mann. Thank you very much. Poor spacing here by the Clippers. Hartenstein goes back to his natural habitat. Jackson attacks off the window and in. 19. Clever play by Luke Kennard. Here come the Clippers leading 87 to 73. Kennard flirts with the defense, pulls the trigger on a three. Why not? The Clippers are undefeated when the wave breaks out at Staples Center. 98 79, 442 to play. Late in the clock for Morris. Is he aware? He is. He gets it off. It's good. Oh question whether Marcus Morris Sr. knew the shot clock and what time it was. I was